Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our Bell Notes and Autophy Quiz. Let's dive into this thing. Click on the proximal end of this tips. The answer is right here in this region. What do these images show? A. Appendicitis. B. Pyloric stenosis. C. Small bowel obstruction. Or is it D. Intussusception? The answer is A, appendicitis. In the CT, the appendix is right here. And in this ultrasound, this is a long axis. And anything greater than 6 millimeters or 0.6 centimeters is considered positive criteria for appendicitis. Click on the appendix. So where on the CT is the appendix? The answer to this question is right here. This is the appendix right there. So this is a picture of a patient who is lying flat on their back. This is the right side of the patient. This is the left side of the patient. This is anterior and this is posterior. And they lie down flat on their back in front of you with their feet closer to you. Click on the intussusception. The answer is right here. Right. Click in the area where scrotal pairs frequently originate from. The answer is right in this region here. This is called a tunica vaginalis, which is well seen here and up here. What does this ultrasound show? A. Newenkrecht syndrome. B. Maytherona syndrome. C. Renal vein entrapment syndrome. Or D. Bud Chiari syndrome. The answer is C, renal vein entrapment syndrome, also known as nutcracker syndrome or mesoaortic compression of the left renal vein, which involves the compression of the left renal vein demonstrated here in between the superior mesenteric artery here and the aorta here. So the vein coming off the left kidney is being compressed by both the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta. Make sure you're kind of aware of all the synonyms that kind of mean the same thing. For example, in median arcuate ligament syndrome, this is also known as Dunbar syndrome, celiac artery compression syndrome, as well as celiac axis syndrome. Click on the distal end of this tips. TIPS stands for Transjugular Intrahepatic Portosystemic Shunt. This involves taking a tube or a graft and connecting it to an adjacent vessel with a lower pressure. This will relieve the pressure of blood flowing through a diseased liver. You'll see TIPS procedures in patients who have a history or long-standing portal hypertension, either caused by long-term alcohol abuse leading to cirrhosis, hemochromatosis, hepatitis B or C, or even blood clots in the veins that flow from the liver to the heart. So the distal portion of this TIPS will be right 
here. What is the most superficial structure you will see when you scan the penis? A. Corpus spongiosum. B. Tunica albuginea. C. Bugs fascia. Or D. Corpus cavernosum. The answer is C, Buck's fascia, or the deep fascia. What does this image show? A, appendicitis, B, adrenal gland, C, diverticulitis, or D, polyps? The answer is C, diverticulitis. What are the arrows pointing to? A, appendicitis, B, adrenal gland, C, diverticulitis, or D, polyps? The answer is C, diverticulitis. What resolution on a grayscale represent equally spaced reflectors? A, axial resolution, B, contrast resolution, C, spatial resolution, or D, lateral resolution? The answer is A, axial resolution. The schematic of an infrarenal arterial venous shunt will demonstrate what type of flow? A, high velocity, high resistance. B, low velocity, low resistance. C, high velocity, low resistance. Or D, low velocity, high resistance. The answer is C, high velocity, low resistance. If any of you are looking for abdominal sonography mock exams, go to my website, type in ultrasound board review, click at the top here, click on enter the pass zone, scroll down and you'll see the abdominal sonography mock exams right here. Click on this. Scroll down and click subscribe. I'm Jim with Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.